Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Swapnil, your brain and spine doctor. So today we will be discussing regarding slip disc. So exactly you should know what is a slip disc. Because most of the patients, they tell that I had a problem of slip disc or my father had a problem of slip disc, my mother had a problem of slip disc. So what exactly is a slip disc? For that we should know the normal anatomy or how your body exactly is. So as we know that there are multiple vertebrae, almost 33 vertebrae in a normal human body. This vertebrae will be like a block shaped structure and in between those vertebrae will be a jelly like structure which is called as a disc. So sometimes what happens is this disc slips from its normal position and it presses on nerves and that is where it called as a slip disc. So this is again one more model which will be helping us to understand easily. These are the block shaped structure which we call it as vertebrae and there is a jelly like material which is there in between of a normal vertebrae. Then what happens is because of the multiple reasons any of the reasons what happens is the pressure comes on this disc and what happens is this disc slips and goes backside. So what you can see here is that this disc is going and pressing on the nerve in an abnormal condition which is not supposed to happen. So this is the normal condition and this is slip disc or an abnormal condition. So after this understanding like we should know where a slip disc can happen. So basically it can happen in any of the cervical any of your vertebral bodies but most commonly it happens in your neck region and in your back region. And what causes a slip disc? First is it can happen because of an age related procedure. Second it can happen because of your improper movements like lifting heavy weights excessive improper movements, improper posture while sitting. Second, it can happen because of trauma also or there can be a genetic predisposition where you are more prone to get a disc as compared to a other individual. So what are the causes and symptoms? If you have a slip disc, what are the problems you are more likely to suffer? First is generally it starts with a back pain in a lower lumbar region or a lower back region. You may have a backache. It increases more on sitting while you may have sometimes more comfortable while standing or lying down. But you may have more pain when you are sitting for continuous time. You may have a different kind of sensation what we call it as a tingling sensation in legs. It may be happening in one's leg more than the other or sometimes only a single leg it may be there. In severe disc slippage of disc you may have severe pain, inability to walk and one of the symptoms which is called as a red flag sign is you may have an involvement of bowel and bladder where you may lose the control of passage of urine or motions. Regarding the treatment, first is like conservative treatment where we give some medications to, be, to decrease the inflammation so that the pain also decreases. We also give some tablets so that the tingling sensation also comes down. Patient has to take, definitely he will get some relief with the bed rest. Physiotherapy exercises where he does some stretching exercises and like some uh, hot fermentation also can be applied which will give him more pain relief. What happens is sometimes the patient is having more pain then like we can give go for an epidural steroid injection where the pinched nerve root will give a steroid injection near the pinched nerve root and the patient may have a significant pain relief. But if the patient has severe pain relief if it is associated with weakness of limbs which can be a red flag sign or bowel bladder disturbances then definitely we have to decompress the root which can be done with an endoscopic spine surgery. Finally, some of the prevention tips for avoiding a slippage of disc. Sit properly while you are moving, move properly. If you are sleeping, sleep on a firm mattress. If you are doing some continuous movements, continuous sitting uh, job, better take a rest in between, have a healthy lifestyle, take a good diet, avoid smoking, have weight loss, avoid having overweight. So definitely if you have all these precautions, you can avoid a slippage of disc in your condition. Thank you.